Actually, this was a Petri dish that I was about to throw away, but I could see that they're about to connect, so I quickly took this video. Now, these incredible hand-like structures here are called growth cones, and every neuron has one. They actively sense the environment around, and they help each and every one of the 86 billion neurons in your brain find the correct place to connect to. So, for example, from here to here or here to here. And this isn't learning, this doesn't represent learning. What it represents is how our brain wires itself during development. Now, when things go wrong with that wiring process or when it doesn't happen in the usual way, you can end up with things like issues with learning and memory. Now, kids are a little bit like sponges, right? You know, they just seem to need to be exposed to stuff and they seem to, to remember it. You know, languages, skills, you know, sports, whatever it is, the learning just happens really quickly. Now, have you ever met someone who's incredibly talented and you just thought, okay, they must, be, they must have some magic thing about them that the rest of us don't have? Well, what if I told you that that's probably not true? It mostly comes down to practice, perseverance, and when in development, they started learning that skill. So the earlier, the better. And people like Serena Williams and Beethoven, they weren't born with their skills. They practiced. And they all actually started by age five. So really our ability to learn kind of goes downhill after age five. 